What is going on, you and the two? It's your boy Trucker Will, and we're trucking it like always. Trying to make this money, trying to make this dough. Before we get in it, into it, remember to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell below so you know when I come out with new videos as well. And smash that thumbs up button so it can push it out to all those new drivers. So, if you're thinking about coming to Prime Inc. at this specific moment, you might not be able to get in, but we're going to talk a little bit about the struggles that you might incur when you're first starting out as a lease operator here at Prime Inc. We're going to talk about it next on Trucking for Trucker Will. YouTube, it's your boy Trucker Will. We trucking it like always, trying to make this money, trying to make this dough. Yes, we're still at home. We're out here in the A. Had to go take my wife to go get some things handled with my mother-in-law to get some things handled before I get back here and get back on the road. The truck is fixed. I will come out with a video talking about that uh, shortly. So guys, coming over to Prime Inc. at this specific time, um, welcome. Now, most of you guys will be like, man, I want to get in here. But then you kind of get upset. And I've been watching a lot of videos and seeing drivers that are just complaining and whining and moaning and groaning about the stuff that they're enduring right now. So I'm going to give you kind of an idea of exactly what's going on in this process. So... Everybody knows that there's a national truck shortage out here going on in the world. Everybody knows it. It's nothing that nobody knows about unless you're brand new and you're like, what's trucking? What's the trucking shortage? So for us people that have been out here for the last, you know, five, six years, uh, me five years, I can tell you back when I first started, you couldn't, you couldn't get people to buy trucks. You couldn't get them to buy. You would have them dirt cheap. But now trucks are ridiculously hard to come by so just to put it in perspective you go to a dealership trying to buy a truck most of these dealerships like these side dealerships they buy their trucks from big companies we'll use cr england we'll use you know prime whatever you want to call it they buy their trucks from these small from these big companies and then they sell them right but if the big companies are no longer selling their trucks but and they're holding on to them then the price over here has to go up because they still have to make money because it's hard enough to buy trucks from other people. So Prime recently suspended the lease purchase program. Why did they do that? They did that so that they can keep a lot of their trucks for you drivers to come in. Now, you can't expect a company to be able to catch everything that's wrong with the truck everything it's your job if you're going lease you're starting a company you're starting a business you got to check that truck out see what's wrong with it see the things that you know might be pertinent to you needing to get fixed some of the trucks you don't know what's wrong with it you're getting it kind of like a uh but i do know that there's drivers that are itching to get out here and make money itching to get going because they've been sitting three weeks without a paycheck things like that so i understand what's going on so if you're brand new and you're starting out and you have a breakdown right away, of course, it's it's going to make you feel bad. It's going to hurt your feelings. It's going to make you feel like, what the heck am I getting into? I'm already out three weeks, four weeks without a paycheck. And now I'm hit with this. It gets better. You know, uh, my truck, right? It's been down for two weeks. I've spent $500 on a rental car. I've spent... $80 going up 
$80 coming back. $80 going up. Like, I've spent mad bread. My truck's now supposedly ready. So I got to spend another $80 to go back up here to get on the road. The place, the, the place that uh, has my truck, they're not open. They're only open till 4 o'clock. Traffic, Georgia, you don't want to make a trip up there and then they close. They're not clo open on Sunday. So I had to move my life around so I can get back on the road to get to the next load to get paid, right? So going back to what I'm saying, guys, is that you have to be patient. Patient, Patience is a virtue. Be patient, you know, because... It's going to get better, but you're in the, the the incubation period. And, you know, any company that starts is going to have their trials and tribulations when you start. Any company is going to have it. But, you know, blaming the company because the truck's not right, blaming this, blaming that, it's nobody's fault. Everybody's like, oh, it has to be this person's fault. It has to be this fault. But really... You can't predict when a breakdown is going to happen. A breakdown is going to happen regardless of when you know it's going to happen. It's going to happen. These trucks have moving parts, friction. You do your best to keep the oil greased of all the things, but things are going to happen. It's just a matter of when, not if, but when it's going to break down. I've had my truck for almost for over three years, and this is the first time in three years that my Freightliner has been in the shop for over two weeks. First time in three years. I've had little nicks and things day or something that I had to take it to the dealership to get fixed. This is the first time in three years my truck has broke down and has been down consistently for two weeks. First time. So am I mad at Prime for it? No. They, it's a good truck. It's run, it's ran. It's got 451,000 miles on it. Am I mad at them? No. Do I understand some of these other drivers that are just starting and their truck breaks down or it's not right? Prime can't do anything about that. They can try to go through it as fast as they can because as fast as you want to get on the road to get to the next load to get paid, they want to get you on the road to get to the next load to get paid. So be patient, you guys. Be patient. Go through the trials and tribulations because the money is here. You're going to make money. Just be patient. Because it's a trying time. Trucks are not pl as plentiful as they used to be. It's, it's kind of tough to get trucks. And when you talk about 14th or 20th, I looked, I looked today and there was like 60 people on the list waiting for trucks. So that's 60 trucks that they have to come, they have to come through for them, for mechanics to go through to make sure that it's somewhat ready to go for you to get down the road to get to the next load to get paid. So new trucks are not plentiful yet. Their trips are there's still a chip shortage. You know, so I ordered a truck. My truck's not going to be here too. Who knows when? So I got to be patient. But take this time to study. Take this time to grind. Take this time to, to hustle. People leaving Prime, they're leaving Prime for other reasons. There's everybody's so quick to talk about the negative and how bad it is and da-da-da-da. Not very many people talking about the positive. So when one little thing goes wrong, they blast that out. When there's good things, they don't really say a whole lot. Remember that. The drivers that have a lot of good things going on don't say a whole lot. I have good and bad. I try to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and the stupid, dumb, founded, indignant. But you got to be patient. Don't always be so quick to blame the company. Sometimes you got to look in the mirror. Maybe you have to blame yourself. And if it's not you, it's not the company, it's just unfortunate circumstances that you cannot control. You can only control so much. Prime can only control so much. The rest is is kind of up to, you know, whatever. You driving down the road? Is a is a deer going to come out in front of you? Is a is a is a possum going to run across the road? You don't know. So you just got to you got to take the good with the bad. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Remember to be blessed, less stress. Keep the left door closed, right foot down. Only want to save guys, and like I always say, guys, I see you on the blacktop. Safe trucking. Hey.